but a lot of it, I think, was just sort of um, uh, sitting alone, really, uh, and thinking like, okay, like, you know, breaking it apart and being like, okay, like, I could have said this, but I didn't. So trying to come to grips with the fact that it did happen, um, there was nothing I could do. Just sort of trying to learn from it, I guess, you know, like the signs. But I think my recovery process a lot was just sort of um, knowing that some people do have it worse. So trying to put it into some amount of perspective. The J Japanese tsunami happened around that time, so I was like, you know, kids like younger than me, you know, their whole life is washed away in one freaking wave. I mean, they don't know where their parents are, they don't know where maybe their siblings are, so it was like, you know, I'm still here. I might not want to be here because I'm absolutely traumatized, but I'm still here. Uh, I think that at times I've like doubted myself a lot because like it's exponentially harder than the work you do in college and I think you do in high school for me at least uh, so you know you're like oh I can't do it I don't want to do it I, not that I don't want to do it anymore but it's just like I just need a break for a little while you know you don't really get a break you're not allowed to just take a break you, that's not how you improve and um, so every time I, I really don't want to wake up or I really don't want to do something I'm like well you have this chance and Andrew doesn't or you have a chance that someone else doesn't, so you better take it. And you better take it well. You try as hard as you can. And then it was like, well, you know, um, you know, it might take you a few years. It might take you a few, yeah, it might take you a decade to stop feeling like it's hitting, pounding you every day. But, um, you know, it's never going to go away, but at some point it will get better.